When it's your job to call the shots, you need to be able to make decisions anywhere, anytime. Don't let time and location stop you. Bluebeam Review. PDF-based collaboration solutions to work without limits. What makes a stadium really unique are two massive trusses that hold up the longest single-span roof structure in the world. Instead of hiding them inside the structure, they extend past the building envelope and onto the grand concourse. So how do they choose to take this route? Let's find out. Paul, you're a structural engineer. What are my choices? Sure, for long span, think of something like the Golden Gate Bridge. So we have a cable that's crossing over the distance, and at either end there's a tower represented by your arm and my arm right now. And if it's carrying these loads, those loads that go up the cable that you're doing take the loads in tension. Now for Dallas, this would mean this would be the space, you'd have these two towers and then this roof hanging overhead. And this profile I think would be bad. The owner I know wants something to look more like the old Dallas Cowboy Stadium. So what are my choices? Sure, we could do the exact opposite, in fact. So instead of a sagging cable, we could flip it round and have an arch that's in compression. So this is a little model, much like you may have seen of, a, um, say, in stone or in, in brick in small spans. And if we hold either end, because it's important that it doesn't move, we can see that it can take its own load pretty well. Right. And then if it's dealing with slightly variable loads, let's say snow, wind, or things like that, then that sort of thing happens, and that's not a good thing, Stephen. So for really long spans like the Dallas Stadium, they're using steel, which is a much stronger material than stone, and it's more continuous for taking those long span loads and making a successful structure. 